Real salespeople don't talk, they listen, and they ask the right questions. It's, it's a tough lesson to learn uh, when to talk and when not to talk and, and when to ask the right questions and the right questions that you should ask. Someone says, I need your help, and you just start telling them what you can do to help, but you don't ask them what they need, what, what their needs are, how you can help them. Then you're just gonna talk and you might not provide them with the information they're looking for. You know, I know that sounds vague, but it's a huge problem with communication. How many times have you had someone call you and just say, hey, blah, 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 and they just talk and talk and talk and you might be busy or, or um, what they're talking about isn't interesting you. It's, it's not something that you wanna talk about. So you're listening, you're going, yeah, mm -hmm, okay, sure, yep, yep. Uh, like a telemarketer that calls you out of the blue and they wanna sell you solar panels for your house but they don't take the time to ask you if you already have solar panels. I do, on the roof, solar heating, solar water, it's all there. But that telemarketer called me and didn't even take the time to ask me if I have solar or I need solar, they just start talking about solar, like it's the greatest thing ever. I know it is, because I already bought it. If they would have just taken the time to ask me a few questions, they would have realized that I already have solar and they might have talked to me about remodeling or painting or something else that would have been a hot spot for me. But they didn't ask any questions. They just started talking. STOP, stop talking over people, is not just, you know, if you're telling a story and someone doesn't let you finish your story, it's also knowing how to ask the right questions properly. Because some people get upset if you ask them a bunch of questions. Think about, Thanksgiving at grandma's house. And grandma says, how you been? How are the kids? Did you get your car running? How's this? How's that? That's grandma. So that's okay for grandma to ask a bunch of questions. But for someone to call you and just start asking you questions, if you're not comfortable, you're not gonna answer them or you're not gonna answer them properly. What you need to learn how to do is to get people comfortable so you can ask them questions. Help me help you kind of questions that they're comfortable with answering and you'll get more information by asking the right questions instead of just spewing out a bunch of information. Think of your client as a friend you haven't seen in a while and you're just catching up. So you ask each other questions, you know, how's your cousin, how's the wife, how are the kids? And it's a comfort zone because they're a longtime friend. So you're just catching up. If you think of your clients or, or prospects that could become clients as a long lost friend, uh, and you get them in that comfort zone, then you can ask them questions and they'll be comfortable and they'll answer the questions. They'll, they'll give you the knowledge you need to help them. The one thing you wanna remember about new clients or trying to win a new client is that you can't help them unless they come on board. Until they become a client, you can give them advice, but you can't really help them until they become a client, come on board, and then you can actually help them. So you have to get them comfortable by asking them the right questions and asking them the right questions properly and listening because God gave you two ears and one mouth for a reason. You should do twice as much listening as you do talking. And the talking should be questions that give you the information that you can use to help them, but also questions that make them feel comfortable.